Right, so today we're just going to have a rundown of the Cube Freer X9 tablet. Um, let's just look at the specifications. It's running a MTK MT8173 quad core processor and a IMG GX6250 graphics processor. Now with the processor running at a maximum uh, 2 gigahertz and coupled with the power VR uh, GX6250 graphics chip, uh, this tablet's very very capable with its gaming ability. Now I think that's basically who this model is targeted for. So let's just take a, a quick look at what we've got. This is as it arrived out of the box. Um, there is absolutely um, zero Chinese apps installed, nothing whatsoever to remove. Um, so that, as I say, this is just as it has arrived. And we've got um, just the normal basic Android, um, Android apps installed, including Play Store. All Play Store, um, all Google services are supported by it. And uh, no issues there. So the main pros with the Freer X9, um, basically are its screen. It comes with an 8.9 inch OGS JDI uh, screen, 2560 by 1600 pixels. Now it's exceptionally bright. Um, you could almost say too bright, but um, it, it certainly is ex exceptionally clear. I can't fault, I cannot, cannot fault the screen in, in any way whatsoever. That is its main selling point. Coupled with, and this isn't really pushed enough with it, the sound quality is, is quite astonishing. It has dual speakers, one each side, and when you're playing a movie, um, it gives a um, effectively a surround sound experience. So coupled with the very bright screen and the surround sound, that is fantastic. Now that is going to appeal to a certain group of people, mainly the gamers and people that like using their tablet to watch um, watch television, watch home movies. Um, so th there we are. That's that's the main advantages with it. One thing I was cur curious about, and I did actually contact Banggood about this, a reviewer on YouTube mentioned that this tablet does not have GPS, and um, the specifications on the website actually say it has. Now, um, I, the reply came back saying, no, sorry, it does not have GPS. Well, let me just show you. I've got, um, let's just pull the menu down. We've got a location button. Um, from the drop down menu. Now with that turned on and if I go to Google Maps on it it shows the exact location of, of my house. I don't want to do that online here now. It shows a very very precise to within meters of where I am standing. Now if this tablet has not got GPS then I, well how else can it how else can it do that? I'm saying it's got GPS I'm, and I'm 99% sure it has. Certainly can't do that um, via um, triangulation of, from the internet service or G, um, ah, SIM card. There is no SIM card in it. So um, cell tower triangulation, it's impossible. So I'm, I'm going to say that it has got GPS and I'm fairly confident in making that statement. So there we are, that's the Ordo Cube or Cube Freer X9 tablet. Um, not a great deal else to say about it. It's a basic, um, fast tablet, great price, great display, great sound. What more can you say? Um, I've also got a, a Tech Class T10, which is here. Now, um, this, has to, this is in a slightly different category, and by far this is the best tablet I have received so far. Um, that's fast and furious with everything. Again, great display. Um, same, same resolution as the Freer X9, um, but that's got a, uh, the T10 has got a 10.1 inch screen. So the actual DPI um, rate is slightly reduced on the T10. Uh, that is absolutely negligible and you can't notice it. So the um, just going back to the Freer X9, that's slightly 
slightly better DPI. Uh, which would I prefer? Well, I, I like I like my T10, and I and I think um, I, I I think that has more of an appeal to um, to, to the general public. It covers everything. Where the Freer X9 has got some omissions, but I'm not going to I'm not going to criticise it because it is exceptionally fast and it does everything that you'd that a gamer would want of it. And I keep going back to saying this. I think this tablet is actually targeted at the gaming community, and I'm sure you anybody uh, looking for a tablet would do well to go for it. Um, I like my T10, and I'm uh, I'm going to stay with my Teclas T10. Okay, guys. So there we are. That's today's uh, little look at the Freer X9. Uh, there are some links below the video and in the description. And if you've enjoyed just watching this uh, this video, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.